And in the story verse, all stories are connected even when we don't know it. That's the thing that's satisfying in getting a book made, is who knows who might benefit from part of that story. I'm not here to teach them things, I'm just here to tell a story and have something good come out of that. I'll speak from the heart, and this book's come from the heart. This book has come from something that I just love doing. When we work with authors, we really do believe it takes a superhero effort to write a book. And it's not just the time, it's not just the emotional effort, it's not just the financial, it's the fact that you're sharing your story, sharing a part of yourself with the world, and that's incredibly challenging and confronting for a lot of people. And for come as far as George has to share that on a, quite a personal level is a huge achievement in itself. If he tells you something, you'll know it, it, it's straight from the heart. He's been a very important part of our lives over the years. He's someone who looks after his friends and his mates and he has their well-being at heart. He will make fun of himself, you know, but, but he's a very clever man. George is such a creative person, as all our creatives are authors, but he showed so much passion and energy and I was already drawn into his story from the first time we met. I love the way he thinks. He doesn't think like anybody else that I know. He's outside of the box so much of the time, outside of my box. Uh, he has a fascinating way of, of seeing the world. And I think those of you who know mm -hmm. him would know that to be the truth of the things. So I'm expecting this book to be an exciting adventure. George is, is a very interesting character. Always has a, a, a wry smile. Uh, and you know that the, the wheels are turning in there and he's got something pretty interesting to say. He had this beautiful website created and some of the most marvellous poetry that I ever read. I recommended him go to Ocean Reef Publishing. Now he's a published author and I'm really impressed with his work. Said he had ideas for a story. We'd hear little bits and pieces about his, his ideas of what he wanted it to be. Of course, when he, it was connected with Ocean Reeves and it sort of really took off from there and they really helped him a lot. George invited me to his own home and he sat and he read more than half of his book to me. Got so involved in the narrative of it that thinking, oh, I've got this poem to read, but yes, wanting to read the poems. The story itself is, is beautifully written because it is a book for everyone. It's a very rare thing in the book world to have a book for everyone. The unique thing about the story is it's told by using traditional narration, which tells the story from the outside and poetry, or what I prefer to call verse, which tells the story from the inside. And it just flows as one story, so it's a different kind of storytelling. I guess from my background of being a storyteller and written about story and doing workshops on story and storytelling, he's really done something to invite us into the, the world of story, which can be both liberating and healing but it can be a little bit daunting, so his work's going to be important for people who don't know how to do that themselves. I write by using intuition. I go to a peaceful place and I just listen. I just became become aware of what's around me. I bushwalk, I kayak, I go out in the environment, things come to me and I think, ah, that's part of a story. And a person's story is important. Some people listen to the wrong story about themselves, as did this guy in the story and their story, no matter what it is, can be beautiful verse. It can be something really special. And those two things come together in the story verse. It's very much about the struggle people have to live their own authentic story. Everyone does have a story and everyone does go through levels of hardships and the journey we take outside of that and moving forward. And that's why George's book is so incredible. It's because he encapsulates it so well. But it is well written. It comes out of a person who's intelligent and who reflects deeply and seriously, uh, but it just comes out of the heart of, a, of another person. And therefore, I think most people will be able to relate to it. It illustrates an area of life. Uh, we think, oh, nobody else has been here before. I'm the only one here, and, and that's not totally true. Really enjoyed it, totally unique. And I just love the way that he blends the the, the verses, the poetry with the story, I think that just adds something very unique and special. I picked up the book, a couple of copies tonight, actually, so I'm keen to, keen to read it. Sounds like it's going to be an interesting read. I'm really looking forward to reading this book in detail because he thinks a little bit out of the box. Quite excited to see what, uh, what he's producing at the moment. I'm looking forward to reading it.
Now we're ready to take on the rest of Australia, we're ready to take this internationally and um, see how many people we can reach across the world. So plenty of interviews coming up with radio, plenty of TV spots organised, so we're really excited to see the future of this book and um, watch George grow with this book as well. People here this evening have known me for many, many years and it's so good to have them here at this book launch. It's been lovely and I think it was a very fitting tribute to George tonight. Yeah, we didn't get too many of George's bad jokes, so that was really great. So it doesn't get much better than that when a friend lets you into something that's really important. Being creative is deeply satisfying, as is working with creative people. If anybody wants to know more about it, they can go to my website and they can just look up into the Storyverse, that's Storyverse one word, and there's everything you need to know about it there. I'd like everyone to give another round of applause for George for what he's done.